is Sunday, uh, March 20th at 4 a.m., officially the first day of spring. Uh, the game plan for today is to go out and try to catch myself a spring Chinook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the car, go pick up my boy Jesse, and uh, head out to the beach. First, I want to send a special shout out to all the people that commented on my videos. Thank you so much. And to all the new viewers, please click the like button. And uh, if you like the videos, uh, I would definitely appreciate the subscribe. All right, I'll see you all in a minute. Jesse. Good morning, buddy. How's it going? What's you doing today? All right. All right. After three tries with a convenience store, we finally found, finally found a place that's open. We got ourselves some water, some coffee for midday, and of course some Cheez-Its. Uh, I can't think of a better way to spend the first official day of spring than out fishing for some springers. What do you think, Jesse? starting to kind of creep up. Sunrise is in for about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna get tied up, uh, get the gear down by the water, and uh, get to fishing. I don't know if anybody here is from Oregon, but the weather forecast has changed about 10 times this week for the weather we were gonna have today on my day off. And I've gotta say, it is perfect out right now. Absolutely beautiful. All right, YouTube, it's a little dark, so I'm uh, utilizing my headlamp right now. So I've got this little Lindy rig. Uh, I tied up a bunch of uh, Spin and Glow uh, rigs prior to coming out today. This is awesome. This saves so much time. I can switch between colors and different leader lengths very quickly with this setup. All right. I've got little uh, three-way swivel set up right here. Um, I'm going to be running a dual spin and glow setup with an eight ounce pyramid weight maybe six ounces all right i'm all set up ready to take my first cast we got sea lions all around us So my buddy Jesse was just kind of giving me some instructions. Um, as I mentioned previously, we've got quite a few seals, or not seals, sea lions, swimming kind of all around us here. Um, and he mentioned that we don't wanna kind of make it well known when we have a fish on, uh, because we might have a, not only a fight with a fish, but also with a sea lion. Is that what you were saying, Jesse? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sea lions are really smart creatures. Um, they know when you're fighting a fish and stuff. A lot of times people in boats, 
Well, uh, they won't even stand up if they're fighting a pitch and they know there's a sea lion within eyesight. They just train themselves over the years to look for that stuff. Yeah, start yelling and making a bunch of noise and they see us fighting a fish, they'll be swimming right over here really quick looking for that fish. See, that's a really good tip uh, for you uh, Springer fishermen out there. If you got sea lions, uh, be mindful because uh, you don't want to be fighting a fish and a sea lion. You hopefully just want to be fighting a fish. We got some raccoon tracks on the beach. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say the raccoon was down here looking for some of those smelt that we saw last week that were washing up onto the beach. The smelt's running onto their last leg. They're up here to spawn. quick fish. So he's uh, filleting some herring and he's going to wrap that around the bait. Set up there. Spin blow fishing with the team shrimp. Set her in the pool over there. If you notice on my last cast, I didn't throw as far out as I could. Um, reason being is the Spring Chinook are actually running closer to shore. Uh, a lot of the fishermen here are just kind of throwing out um, 20, 25 feet and uh, going from there. So that's why I didn't try to throw it out as deep as I could on my last cast. So I was looking at the, on the beach and I saw what I thought was a rock and I picked it up and it's real light and it has like a real, I don't know, coarse texture. And uh, uh, Jesse was saying that it's a uh, uh, potentially pumice. You said? Yeah, from Mount St. Helens exploded. From when Mount St. Helens exploded. That's interesting. It's like this, this seems like the kind of thing that you use to like, if you got a callus on your toe, yeah. that you rub it on your toe and it rubs the callus off or whatever. Interesting. Pumice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but that is a row of sea lions. There's probably like 20 or 30 of them out there. Oh, I think probably like 50. Oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's like, I don't think I've ever seen. Do they call that a pod? Or? That's what I call them. A pod. Yeah. They were here yesterday too. They were they? Up, I live right up here. They go up above the house. They yeah. turn around, they come back down. And then they go up and they come back down. <laughs> <laughs>
spicy. <laughs> I didn't know it was this spicy, brother. I'm sorry. It's good. It'll warm you up. It's been about eight hours. Uh, we fished all of outgoing tide. Um, outgoing tide or low tide is gonna be uh, done here in about a half an hour. Uh, that's about when we're gonna call it quits. Um, each and every time we come out here, we're getting more and more dialed in. Uh, today we actually saw somebody uh, catch one. Well, they, they ended up losing it, but they had one on the line here on the beach. Uh, so uh, we're gonna keep coming out uh, until we get our spring Chinook. And uh, if the fishing gets shut down at this spot before we get the springer, we're gonna move on to another spot. Uh, there, there ain't no quit in, in my fishing game, so uh, we're gonna keep coming out. Um, tomorrow, actually, since we didn't land one today, um, I'm gonna also be going trout fishing as well. So uh, I'll be uploading this video right away and then also keep an eye out for a trout fishing video as well. Pretty confident I'll be able to pull one in. I know a pretty good spot for trout. So uh, thank you everyone for tuning into this video. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, uh, like the video, and I'll see y'all later.